Would you guys swim in this river if you knew what was underneath the surface? Let's go get some bait. Let's catch a bull shark. All right, so let's get bait. Oh, so we've gone and gotten something decent in here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, guys, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Pretty cool to see. I'm going to have to get my tagging gun out now. Okay, all right, all right. The hardest part is trying to look after these guys. Alright. Five ten. Went to full length. Four forty. Well, there you go, guys. That's actually pretty cool to get a little thread fin like that in the cast net. I've gone and tagged him as well because I um, I do like tagging these fish for uh, for uh, informational purposes and that. And it's really good for the fishery to be able to um, to tag these guys and work out their movements and stuff like that. But it's really cool. Really happy. Really stoked with that. Get this stuff away. Let's try and uh, catch some bait. Enough messing around on the baby threadies. I mean, that's kind of the cast I've been waiting for. More than anything. What a bait. Some of them I don't need though, so I'll put on the back. I'm after a variety, so I don't want too much of one type. Yeah, I'll take a mullet. So many bonies, a couple of normal brimbos. Always good to see. A couple of bigger mullies. It's always good. With plenty of bait now in the live well, I set in for an afternoon of shark fishing. And it was not long before we got our first nibble. Right, we got him. Oh, bitten off. Right, so it was a bully, or was it? First bull shark of the day, dicking around as usual. Yes, I know I probably should be running a wire trace, but by the same token. Normally you can get them pretty easy without having to run a wire trace. <laughs> normally, normally. But, still retire anyway. He had it for a while. Was a retire. I'm still gonna run mono, just because I just, I'm never a fan of running wire, because normally if a shark bite, bites through you, 
or mono. It's not too bad, you just retie, go again. If you, with piano wire though, like it just seems to kink and knot and I hate the presentation it leaves. Like, I know it's only shark fishing, but I'm, I'm just like really pedantic about how I like to do it. If that makes, if that makes some sort of sense. <laughs> Didn't help too, like I was trying to change batteries over and stuff and oh, it's always a bloody way. But that was on one of the big baits, so we're going to tie on another big bait and we're going to go again. Because, you know, why not? But it's looking like it's going to be a pretty red hot session on the sharks. Now fish is sort of moving around a bit. It would appear to be. Yep, he's moving. He's moving. Something's having a crack. Something's got him. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Have a crack at it yet? I think whatever had him took him. That sucks. Another shark that we've missed. I can't get wasting bits like this. <laughs> so frustrating. It's the only hard part with using big baits like that. Like you've got to really hope that the, the shark gets it, takes it down or whatnot. <laughs> Here we go. No. Now. That is just absolute painful. That's like the third shark we've missed. I'm gonna get roasted in the comments by you guys. As I start. Oh, here we go. No. Oh. What the We finally got a bull shark. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? us off. No, it didn't bite us off. Dropped it. Uh. 
How many bull sharks have I got a hook to get one? Like seriously? <laughs> uh, right, for you guys at home, I'm gonna swap over to a circle hook for the next one, and we'll see what happens. We'll see. Also, I'm gonna get this stupid caddy off. And get my hook back. I know people are gonna be in the comments, use a circle hook, use a circle hook. So, I'll use a circle hook. Uh, I just hate using circle hooks for the one thing, which is threadies. Cause like, obviously not all the time bull sharks are gonna eat the bait. There's still that potential for threadies. And I feel threadies just tend to take off too quickly for a circle hook to be effective. But, just to appease the gods, I will use a circle hook and it's damn hot from sitting out in the sun, so. I can change that over. Alright. Circle hook. You've seen it first. <laughs> Use the circle hook. Hopefully, it improves our hookup rate. I'm hoping. I think it's just because I can't commit to just bull shark fishing sometimes. I always have that like in the back of my mind. Oh, I might catch a thready. Oh, I might catch a thready. <laughs> And I just don't like spoiling that for myself, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like if you just chase some bull sharks, a circle hook, yes, is probably the best route. But, I just, I still want a thready. Like, how could you not? They're so much fun. They would have to be the most fun in an estuary you can have. Like, don't get me wrong, barramundi are fun too, but in a different way, like barramundi, it's like all in the eat. Like, it's the, oh, why am I tying a loop knot? <laughs> it's just like in the eat for a barramundi. So we're gonna drag right off, so I can pull and hopefully, the circle hook will roll in and set. And if it does, we then, the fight will be on. So we'll see. Oh, good. Always good. Yeah, use circle hooks. Stupid. I reckon circle hook sucks. Just as much as anything else does. Sucks. Use a circle hook, use a circle hook. I just lost a big fish with a circle hook. <laughs> was it a bull shark? I don't know. I don't think it was. I think it might have been a thread fin salmon. It was just a little bit too, too quick and it just knew where it wanted to go. Like once it felt the pressure it was just, and there's no rubbing at all. Mm. <laughs> Why? No circle hooks for now. I'm going back to a, uh, I'm going back to a J-hook. Screw you guys. I tell ya, guaranteed, would have been a big thready, I reckon. Proper. Because I thought it bit me off. If it had bit me off, yep, fair enough, bull shark, but, no. No, 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 no. I had the drag super loose so that like the hook could find the mouth. Nah, as soon as the fish knew it was there, it was just zoos, 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 zoos. No. Hook protrusion was impeccable as always. There's no way that was at fast. <laughs> Bait size maybe, but like the hook was just like, ah. Oh. Oh, it's just so frustrating.
Yeah, come on. Ah! Oh. oh, that was a bully. I'm doing it. Go on the wire trace. <sighs> oh, boy, your baby's ready. Let's do it. No messing around here. Alright, so we got a nice light wire trace. These are 20 pounds, but. Nice and skinny, hopefully still get okay hook up right. I'm gonna use a J hook still because I actually hooked up then and thank goodness for that. It was getting frustrating. Oh, oh that's freaking hot man. Oh man, that hook was hot. Hot hook, hot, 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 hot. With frustration levels high and now running a wire trace, I persisted into the afternoon. With the ever increasing amount of missed fish and missed hook sets, bait levels began to drop low and I had to begin throwing the cast net again for more liveys as the afternoon progressed. With my ever increasing frustration levels, I came up with a new method and hopefully a solution to the missed hook sets. I thought, why not try a snelled rig? Two hooks are better than one. Let's try stuff on. Just any one. Two hooks are better than one. I just can't see it working, but who knows, I'm desperate. Desperate at the moment, so we've got a double pinned. We've got a double pinned mud herring. Almost like a snell, but a snell will just get busted off if I'm getting, if I'm missing bull sharks, so. It's gonna do real well, but we will see. Same thing again, picked it up, ran with it, and dropped it again. Come on, pick it up and just go. Just out of here, just I don't care. I got bloody well, I got a 20 pound bloody trace on, so if it's a big bully, it'll bite through it, but perfect for four pound, like um, four, four, four foot bullies. See something's eating up. It's gone. It's not gone. Why? Don't tell me. Don't tell me that it's missed two hooks. Don't tell me it's eaten the bait and managed to dodge Two hooks. I don't want to hear about it. I want to just see it. Been hooked. Yeah, hook yourself. No. Yep. There we go.
Yeah, you can't get away now. Finally, <laughs> oh, took double sets of hooks, took a snelled rig to get the dog. Oh, man. Come here. There we go. Target species acquired. Donezo. That's a pretty good bully. Pretty good bully indeed. Always got to be careful when handling these guys because they are just balls of muscle. So, try and grab them around the gills if possible. Wherever you can. There we go, that'll probably help. Well suited. Now, a good way of keeping them calm, tip them upside down. Now I say calm, I don't say safe. Have a go at that, hey? Proper. All right, there we go, guys. And there we go guys, a nice big bull shark. Well, I say big, it's not huge. He's about a four footer, about four foot big, so. All right, let's get him back, eh? Oh, man. After that taste of one bull shark, I couldn't just leave it at that. So a couple of afternoons later, I geared up, caught some bait, and headed back out for a few more. I do have him. Well, there we go. We got a bull shark. We're gonna bite me off. Get in the boat. A proper cool fish, but super dangerous too. This one at the moment. Oh, got a bit of a tangle situation here. There we go. Have a go at that guy. Whoa. Balls of muscle.
cool fish. Here we go. <laughs> Got him. does not like being hooked. Oh, he's gone and stuffed himself. This one's a bit baby. Caddy. Sweet. A hard part of trying to flip him over, get him out. Another one. Come on, show us your teeth. Alright. Another bull shark, eh? Huh? 